to another Voice of Nick show. Um, we're doing another Post America artwork stream. We're going to see if we're doing another Post if we can uh, broadcast directly from my iPad, which is interesting. This feature was on the app that I was using forever, but it it never actually worked. I kept trying to get it to work, and it never did anything. So it's kind of exciting to me that possibly we'll be able to do it for real this time. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's keep going. What we have here is the Penthesilea uh, line work is done. Now we want to sort of work just adding her uh, inside fill layer or whatever it is. So let's do that. So it's always a bit of a process adding this stuff in, but you know you can't really get around it. Plus, it gives us a chance to really look at uh, at what we've done so far. So let's do that. We're not going to put the horse or her on different layers. The only different layers I think are going to be the spear, the shield, and the general character. What was this? Oh, this was her uh, Vambrace. Found out that word when I was. <laughs> I called everything greaves, but greaves are only for your legs, I guess. Van braces are what you'd call greaves that go on your arms. All right. Once we have this fill layer, uh, we'll kind of see how we like it first of all. But I have a couple ideas for how this uh, background plane is gonna work. Either way, I think she would be this color, but we might do the um, encroaching black. We have it as like a sort of I can't gesture like that, but this this kind of encroaching thing looks like that. In the uh, version we have, but what we might want to do is something a little bit more stark. Okie dokie. So let's keep going here. Okay, what was this? It's funny because I can't gesture with my uh, with my pen anymore. Now that we, uh, d you can't see where my hands are. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. This will be a process. Welcome, Traversal Gaming, to the show. 
Yo, I listened to your podcast. Hello, you said you make everyone in your chat welcome. Um, did you are there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> welcome to the show. I'm glad you like the podcast first and foremost. Uh, thanks for listening. Let's get an exclamation mark hype in the chat. I'm guessing you only listened to like the first handful of episodes, which if, if you didn't realize based on it being a weekly podcast, were written three years ago. Uh, so there's a lot of content for you to get to uh, since then. Uh, many things that address kind of the weirdly confrontational way you're entering my chat. But uh, I hope you enjoy the show, and I'm glad you like the podcast. And uh, thanks for sh showing your support, I guess. Um, welcome in. We're currently working on artwork for a book that I'm publishing. Yeah. Um, nice to uh, <laughs> Nice to meet you. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, I don't really talk about uh, the Twitch playbook on here. Um, this is my stream, and the Twitch playbook is a podcast I've written about my streams. Uh, many people come in, I'm, su I'm assuming you as well. Uh, many people come in assuming that the streams are also a place where I talk you know, further about things in the Twitch playbook, which I don't, uh, I don't really have any interest in being like a, you know, person that people come to for answers about stuff. I just write about my experiences and I hope they're useful to you. But, um, yeah, many things that I mentioned at the beginning of the podcast may be different than the way that the streams are now. And, uh, also there are a few things about, uh, what you might have, um, assumed about the way that I conduct business may not necessarily be exactly the same as they are, which I further expand on in the podcast. So I, I hope you enjoy the future episodes. I'm assuming that, yeah, based on the way that you're talking there, it sounds like you probably listened to the first couple dozen, if that. And I, you know, again, I hope they're very useful to you. But yeah, I don't really uh, respond to threats. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, uh, things like that in in the chat. Typically when I'm doing artwork, I'm not looking at the chat, as you might imagine. I'm looking at the artwork, so uh, not necessarily checking it every five seconds. How are you doing, though? What's, uh, what is your Monday looking like? I just got back from South by Southwest Festival, which was a great time. I saw a lot of movies. <sighs> Traversal saying that was three years ago. My bad. Do you still do video games and do you still stream full time? Uh, yes and yes. Uh, still st three streams every day. Uh, yeah, it, that's all. Uh, all the same. The type of streams that I do change a lot. Yeah, it's it, really streaming is just my way of uh, getting to do the stuff that I've always wanted to do and having an excuse to do it. So. Yeah, like artwork is something that I went to school for back in the day. And, uh, you know, since like growing up and getting a job and and uh, doing everything that a person does after they get out of school, I, I didn't really have a lot of time to do art. So it's really a, it's really been a cool thing to uh, get a chance to do. And so, yeah, now we've been working on this uh, book that I'm illustrating and, you know, there's all sorts of other stuff that we've been streaming. Oh, Traversal saying, yeah, I only listened to the first five. Okay, yeah, that's, again, that's like, I kind of expect it just because that's what most people do. They hear my voice enough and then they want to they wanna watch the show. But I, it's, it's necessary to remind a lot that, you know, if you listen to the first couple, those were written, you know, they come out every Friday. So now that we're up to 160, whatever, that means that those first ones were written years ago. And uh, there's a lot more 
that I've learned about my journey, as well as things that uh, may not have been clear, you know, in a eight minute first episode, you can't get everything across or in the, you know, however many minutes it is for the first five episodes, you can't get everything across. So as it keeps going, I talk about more about my, uh, the details of what I, uh, what I do. Okay, so we want to fill in these parts and then we will, uh, then we will move forward with that. What are you up to lately though, Traversal Gaming? Are you, I assume you play video games. What is on your video game agenda at the moment? On the video game side, we've been doing the Assassin's Creed series recently, uh, playing those from the beginning. There's a lot of those games. I had played the um, all of them through Origins, you know, in the various years since those games came out. And uh, I love them, but I kind of fell off on that series after Origins. I didn't even bother to play the other ones. But uh, I'm excited to, and I'm, you know, we're working our way back up. So we we just finished AC3 Liberation, the uh, PS Vita uh, interstitial game between 3 and whatever is after 3. Black Flag. I guess that's where they stopped numbering them. Or maybe Black Flag was numbered. It might have been an AC4 Black Flag. Oh, so if we're going to do the, okay, if we have a black outline, uh, or rather a black background, then we need to do this a little differently because the hair and other black entities are not going to show up. saying uh, I've been playing Apex Legends and Overwatch. Nice. I haven't played either of those since they came out really. I played a, a little bit of Overwatch afterwards. I Maybe the last new, new character that was in Overwatch when I played it was like... I don't even remember it. It was like... I think the little kid character... I can't remember. Maybe there was like two new characters at the time when when I stopped playing it. I can never um, have my attention held by online games. They always, I always uh, drop off, probably just because I don't have the dedication to like stick with them. Apex I loved. I really enjoyed what I played of that. I, I love Titanfall, though. I, I kind of wish that... It's sort of like very unlikely now since Apex Legends is so popular, but I wish that they would do another Titanfall game. Uh, why is this this color? The shield. Maybe we... Oh, you know, because we did it when we previously thought that was going to be the color. So we're going to go back in here, do another version of this. Let's leave this on for a second. Okay, so now we're going to go through like that. Oh, this is still turned on here.
um, Traversal Gaming saying, are you able to make a living off streaming if you don't want to tell me that's okay? Yeah, again, like, lifestyle and podcast related questions of like, here's how I do my thing, here's how I make a living, here's how I, you know, make my streams or whatever. It's kind of a point of principle to me that I do not talk about those on my stream. Um, because then another person who's lurking might hear you and, oh, and now he answers questions about his stream or whatever. So, yeah, that's like a particular point that uh, I actually do not talk about any of that stuff on my stream, but I will say that it is all in the podcast. Um, so since you mentioned that you only had listened to the first five, uh, there's plenty more content in there to uh, to listen to. And, yeah, it's not really... Maybe it's not what you'd expect. Again, most people expect that I answer questions or help them with their things or even allow them to talk about their own channels. None of that stuff happens on my stream. Uh, it's all very separate for me. I'm not really interested in being like a person that people come to to say like, hey, how'd you do this? How'd you do that? Like, it's all in the podcast um, and that's where it stays. So I hope that's cool with you. And, you know, I hope you, if you do continue to listen to the podcast, I hope that that uh, you enjoy it, but again, it's it's really not something that that I talk about here. Yeah, I think we have a command for that actually. Set up. Oh yeah, Nick does not answer questions about his stream during the show. Yes, that that's the uh, command. It's probably in the chat rules as well, or if it's not, it should be. Or in the channel description or whatever on the front page. Traversal saying, EA completely abandoned Titanfall, but I definitely love playing it. It was a really cool idea for a um, for a multiplayer game where it was basically like a every multiplayer match had like a single player, or not single player, but had like a storyline playing out at the same time. And by playing the different maps, like you kind of like understood the storyline better. I thought that was a really cool idea. And also the gameplay was awesome. I, I loved the... Uh, I'm not sure if they plan on or if they did add Titans to Apex Legends, but like, you know, at least when Apex came out, I definitely sorely missed the uh, inclusion of the giant robots because that was a, that's a genre that I'm always very much interested in. So yeah, I, I really wanted that to come back in some way and maybe it will, who knows, but uh, at the moment it is... Uh, not happening, I guess. It looks like I accidentally... Mm, oh, I see, I see. This then should not be here? What is the? Why did I put this in here? This should be here. Or even lower, I guess. Down here. And then if we turn this on... Uh, yeah, that works. Now the question is, how do we best communicate this, the look for this? So I kind of like this sort of like cloud that's coming over, but there might be a better way to do it. So we can experiment with that. We have the motif of these like um, circular things. Those are the rough versions that look all lumpy. But when we put the finals of those in, maybe we'll be able to do something interesting with like the circles uh, being what makes the black separate from the red. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll explore that. Ladies and gents, that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you for joining the show. The channel is called The Voice of Nick. If you wanna see more, don't forget to hit the follow button and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.